Lights and Dirts, we've got Tally on Recovery Lights. And uh, only one complaint is these water bottles are super heavy. <laughs> Copy that, Raja. We'll work on it. <laughs> Raj, of course, making a gravity joke there. <laughs> yeah, for the first time in uh, six months, everything has a little more weight to it <laughs> now that they're back in 1G on Earth. The first approach is focused on immediate safety inspection of the capsule integrity and checking for any presence of those hypergolic propellant vapors, making sure it's safe for Shannon, the recovery boat, to approach the Dragon spacecraft. Oh, wow, that's a great view. Um, not thermal this time. Beautiful colors there <laughs> with the uh, the various lights that we have going on. You have a better view. Um, the individual that is actually on Dragon capsule now, that's the person I was just talking about, that uh, will be attaching uh, Dragon's hoist rings and connect to the lifting lines. Alonso. Dragon SpaceX, brace for capsule lift. Dragon SpaceX, welcome aboard the recovery vessel. Recovery personnel are completing the final checks. Stand by for translation to the egress platform. Here we go, we have movement. Super quick. It looked like the capsule was being hosed down a little bit just to get the, um, some of that salt water out of those bays. Once again, that bay at the top there is where the drogue parachutes are stored. And then the bay at the bottom underneath the side hatch is where the main parachutes were stored. There we can see the side hatch is open. I could imagine that after spending six months in space, all of, the, all of this must feel really weird. We heard him make a joke earlier about the water bottle feeling heavy. <laughs> <laughs> we can see that Commander Rajachari has now egressed the capsule and is making his way onto the rollaway. Looked like we had some thumbs up there just momentarily. Mm -hmm. And I believe that's uh, Tom Marshburn, NASA astronaut, being helped out of the capsule. That means our two mission specialists, Matthias Marr and Kayla Barron, are still inside. And there's Marshburn. And that is mission specialist Kayla Barron receiving some help as she uh, makes her way outside. All right, looks like Kayla Barron has made her way down Dragon's uh, accessibility slide and is going to be making her way to the medical tents. I think I see a smile on her face. 